Now, if you happen to have bought Kayla's Bikini Body Guide and looked at the product disclaimer, you'd be a fucking idiot because her nutrition and training guides are worthless pieces of crap that only a moron would pay for. What you should have done is downloaded and installed uTorrent, go to a BitTorrent site like Kickass Torrents, download the magnet link, and get her bikini body guide for free. That's a savings of $120. And no, I wouldn't call that stealing because you can't steal something that's absolutely worthless. Now, once you're done torrenting her training and nutrition guides and check out the product disclaimers, you'll notice that Kayla wasn't responsible for writing the nutrition guide. And she wasn't even fully responsible for writing the training guide either. So Kayla doesn't even have enough knowledge on training or nutrition to write her stupid little 12 week programs. So where the fuck does she get off suing Freely and Durian Rider for critiquing her bikini body guide when she doesn't even know enough to write it her fucking self? Bitch. And oh look, the product disclaimer says not to copy this book. Did I remember to tell you about uTorrent? And then after that disclaimer, we get to learn about the authors. Yes, authors. Because to make a piece of trash like this, apparently it takes a team effort. First up, Kayla talks about how she studied at the Australian Institute of Fitness which might sound prestigious, but it's not. It's just one of those companies like CanFit that set a standard for training personal trainers so that gyms can get their trainers insured. Their website doesn't even mention anything about requiring even a high school level education, and basically all you need to do is pay them and pass a few tests. But uh, that's good enough for Kayla to want to brag about it, so, you know, my expectations are pretty high right now. And then, hilariously, Kayla claims she built an online presence via Facebook and Instagram. I think what she meant to say was she paid for a presence on Facebook and Instagram on account of she pays for Facebook and Instagram followers and likes. Bitch. And then we have some knob named Toby Pierce, and he says he's a bodybuilder, but that really doesn't mean shit, since most bodybuilders don't know anything about training or nutrition. And the idiot brags about having the same training certificate that Kayla has, along with studying business and commerce. Why the fuck should I care if he studied business or commerce? What the fuck does that have to do with training or nutrition? Things aren't about to make any more sense, are they? So from here on out, I'm only going to be focusing on her diet guide because there's no way her training guide is so bad that it could kill someone. But, you know, long story short, I mean, it's garbage for $60. It's just a book about push-ups and jumping jacks. I mean, you can learn to do that crap on your own. You don't need to pay anyone $60. But I digest. So Kayla says that healthy eating is essential for everyone and she does not promote exclusionary diets, i.e. no carbs. Are we being trolled? A diet book that recommends eating 1600 calories a day is not exclusionary, according to Kayla, or whoever the fuck wrote this book, there's no evidence that she actually fucking wrote it. And things start to get really good when you look at the menu plan. So day one, we have milk, protein powder, and I'm assuming WPI stands for whey protein powder, chicken, low fat, quote unquote, cheese, beef, olive oil, and some more, quote unquote, low fat cheese. And day two includes a fucking egg, more chicken, lamb, more cheese, and that pretty much goes on like that from there. Now, let's skip ahead to the information and resources section because surely we will see some studies that support the inclusion of these foods. Well, if that was your expectation, you have a little too much faith in humanity. All we have here is some bullshit links to the Australian Food Guide, some article about protein supplementation for athletes, an article about trans fats, 
One of the links is actually broken, and just one study on dietary fat intake and the risk of coronary heart disease in women. And that study found that higher intake of dietary saturated fat increased heart disease risk in women. If she agrees that saturated fat intake increases heart disease risk, then why the fuck are things like meat, dairy, and eggs on the fucking menu? Does Kayla, or whoever the fuck wrote this, suffer from cognitive dissonance? Or maybe this is Kayla's subtle way of telling us that she is intentionally trying to kill people. Now, it's nice that Kayla says her nutrition guide is made with the help of nutrition professionals, but they obviously don't know how to do their fucking job. Not only do meat, dairy, and eggs increase heart disease risk, but they also increase diabetes and cancer risk as well, not to mention promoting weight gain and obesity. So because this book is called the Bikini Body Guide, I'm assuming the purpose of the book is to get people looking suitable to wear a bikini. I'm not getting the impression that this has anything to do with health and fitness, especially since a lot of the foods on the menu just increase chronic disease risk and promote weight gain and obesity. Dr. Neil Bernard, Dr. Caldwell Esselstein, and Dr. John McDougall all have books that are supported by medical science and are designed to get people healthy. Kayla, your bikini body guide is not designed to get people healthy and it is not supported by medical science. All it is is some stupid crash diet and crash training program that doesn't help anyone make any real lifestyle changes because, as it says, it's only a 12-week program. So Kayla's $120 bikini body guide boils down to eat less and move more. And uh, that's what you learn when you study at the Australian Institute of Fitness rather than having an actual fucking medical background like the three experts I just mentioned. And when you're so severely lacking in education, you better be sure to sue anyone who points out the fact that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, because when you can't defend yourself with science, you gotta defend yourself with lawyers and legal threats. Kayla, it seems. <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> What a relief! When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. 